Andrew Umid scored a maiden first-class century on debut on a fascinating first day in Birmingham where the visitors fought back well late on. It was an uncontested toss as Durham elected to bowl against their hosts. Baron Chopra opened the batting with debutante Umid and initially it was the more experienced batsman who looked most at ease. He gave a couple of chances but fulfilled his main role early on which was to stay with Chopra who was plundering runs off the Durham attack. The 28-year-old continued his good early season form as he went past 50 for the fifth time this season in a partnership worth 120. In the end, Chopra fell for 71, LBW to wheel. It's the fourth time this season that he's failed to convert his start into a century. Umid continued to bide his time, and with Ian Bell, his new partner at the crease, he moved to a maiden first-class 50 with a calmly taken three-off wheel shortly after striking back-to-back -back boundaries to move to 48. Bell also looked in fine form in the initial parts of his innings, and the pair had guided the score onto 166 for one when rain started to fall, bringing the teams off the pitch. When they returned, Durham dominated. Bell fell court Borthwick, bowled cast for 38, and four overs later, Trop was back in the hutch, nicking off to the same bowler for one. Sam Haynes' poor runner form continued as he was caught behind off wheel for four. And just after making his way to a maiden century on debut, Umid's stay at the crease was brought to a close by Onions. McCarthy with the catch as the Scot fell for 101. Ambrose became Wheel's third victim as he was caught by Borthwick for six and Chris Wokes then became the seventh casualty, caught Jennings off wheel for four, but the score went to 255 for seven. Keith Barker was the last man out on the day, caught Richardson off cast for ten, leaving all of the good work at the top of the order largely undone. 273 for eight at stumps, for Tell and Wright, the not-out batsman, on eight and seven respectively.